Hey there, my name is Elijah Winfrey. I am a writer and director, and this is going to be a series I'm calling Movies That Moved Me. I want to talk about the movies that I love, the movies that inspired me to become a filmmaker, and I hope you will join me for this ride. Today's movie is going to be one from 1998. I'm going to go ahead and pop the poster up on the screen now. It is for Enemy of the State, uh, which stars Will Smith, Gene Hackman, John Voight, Regina King, uh, Lisa Bonet, it's also got Jason Lee in the film as well, Jamie Kennedy, Seth Green. Uh, we also have Jack Black uh, in the movie. Just tons and tons of great talent on this film. And this is one that I watch at least three to five times a year. And we'll get into why I love it so much here in a second and how it inspired me in my creative process. But first, for folks who have never seen this film before, here's the basics of what it's about, okay? The film tells the story of a group of corrupt National Security Agency agents conspiring to kill a congressman and the cover-up that ensues after a tape of the murder ends up in the possession of an unsuspecting lawyer. That lawyer, of course, played by Will Smith, for folks who are familiar with this movie. Now, what did I like about it? So, first, I love the theme of the film. You know, you have this man who doesn't know that he has this crucial videotape that the NSA wants and he's on the run from the NSA. So you you have a very David and Goliath type situation. The Goliath being the government and how do you escape the government when they have all the tools necessary to ruin your life. Uh, that to me always seemed very interesting. Uh, it was a kind of a different take on you know person versus the establishment. To me anyway it was kind of a different take but I really like the theme of it. Um, I also love the dialogue in this film, and that, that's one of the things that I find to be really inspiring in my creative process, and something I try to duplicate, is how these characters talk in stressful situations. Um, they, they come across as human beings, and believe it or not, that can be hard to do when you are writing dialogue between two characters that don't actually exist. Um, you know, you wanna make sure the stakes are believable for the audience and I feel like the dialogue in this film is believable you believe that the characters are stressed out um, by the way that they're talking to each other um, but it's also smart as well uh, how they did the dialogue that probably isn't the best way to describe it but uh, <laughs> but again dialogue can be a very hard thing to do I feel like they did a great job of it in this film so when my characters are trying to have an argument with one another I will often watch this movie uh, to try to see how did they do it and how can I maybe p cherry pick some things to put in my dialogue to make my scene better. So that is one of the main things that I took from this film. Uh, also, I love the ending. Now, I'm not going to spoil the ending for you uh, because if you haven't seen it, I would love for you to watch it and let me know what you think. That way I can interact with you. Um, but the ending of this film, in my opinion, is a perfect circle okay because you start out at one point and then you end right back where you started but you go oh that was a clever way of doing that and again i'm trying to talk in code because i don't want to ruin this movie for you if you haven't seen it you should really check it out uh it is rated r i, I probably should say that it is rated r it is two hours and 12 minutes long um but it doesn't feel like it's two hours and 12 minutes long and that's because of the pacing if there's a very frantic pace to this film uh, and, and again, that kind of adds to the stress. You can kind of see just how stressed out Will Smith is, just how stressed out Gene Hackman is, and some of the other characters as well. It's like a constant go, 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 um, but it doesn't have that frantic pace uh, that takes away from the dialogue, which you see in some action films where it's always all the explosions and things like that, and then you go, where's the actual story? This had a nice balance between the two. Uh, and that's probably because of who directed it. Tony Scott directed this film. And I didn't really appreciate Tony Scott's work until after he unfortunately passed away. And I realized how monumental Tony Scott was uh, to me as a director um, as far as inspiration is concerned. Because I grew up on his movies without even really realizing I grew up on his movies. Um, I watched Top Gun. I watched Beverly Hills Cop 2. Uh, I watched Enemy of the State, obviously. I watched Man on Fire with Denzel Washington. And I watched Days of Thunder along with other movies that he did. 
Um, and it's just one of those things where you kind of look back at it and you go, wow, okay, I can see how those different films inspired what I do. So uh, Enemy of the State was the first one that I wanted to talk about here in these movies that moved me. Again, I love the theme. Um, I love the dialogue. I love the ending. And I love that frantic pace that doesn't hurt the dialogue that they're trying to do. Again, if you haven't seen this movie, check it out. It is Enemy of the State from 1998. Not a kid's movie, but certainly a good time. This is the first of the movies that moved me, and I feel like I'll get better with these as we go along. But thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you think.